Buttons, look who's here, our friends. He says, hi. We were just looking back at the pictures of our story that we read earlier, Amelia Bedelia's first Valentine. I hope you listen to it, or maybe you're going to listen after this. Buttons really, really liked all of the hearts all over the book. That's why we were looking at it. He wanted to count how many hearts were in the book. Maybe you could do something like that when you get a Valentine book to read. Count all the hearts. We're going to set that over there. Is that okay, Buttons? That's okay. Oh, my. Look at Buttons. He is all dressed up. What does he have on? He has little Valentine hearts on his Buttons. Don't you look very nice? You do? Yes, you do. You look is it soon Valentine's Day? Yes, it is. Buttons, do you know what we're going to make today? The boys and girls are here to do a craft. Is that all right? Would you like to do the craft with them? He's not sure if he can help today, but he would like to watch. Okay. Should we let him watch, boys and girls? Okay. Thank you. All right. Do you want to show us what we're going to do? No. You want to get the supplies out? Okay, he's going to get the supplies out. Are we supposed to guess? You like us to make us guess, don't you? All right. He wants to look. Can he do? Oh. What did he see? What? He says there's a clue on him about our craft. Hmm. Does it have to do with your ears? No, nothing about ears. How about your eyeballs? Are we making a pair of glasses? No. Stripes? Are we doing something with stripes? You have stripes. I have stripes on. Is it anything with stripes? No, am I being silly? Okay. How about these three things? Your hearts? Are we right? Okay. So it's something about a valentine. All right, let's see what it is, okay? He's gonna give us our first. Oh, it's so tricky he can't pull it up. There we go. Our first little supply is a piece of sticky plastic paper. Hmm, none of that. Let's see what else we have. Oh my goodness, Buttons is having a terrible time grabbing a hold, okay? He's going to give us, what is this, boys and girls? That's right. It's a piece of ribbon. It looks like a spring, doesn't it? It bounces just like a spring. So one sticky piece of paper, one piece of ribbon. Ah, you did it. And another piece of sticky paper. So two. So when you have two of the same thing, sometimes you can sandwich something in between. Maybe we'll do something like that today. Do you think that could be it? Okay, okay. We saw it. What else? Oh, this. Hmm. I said sandwich. Now he gives me a plate. Would this plate hold a sandwich? Not very well. I think the cheese and the ham would fall right through and then it would land on Buttons' nose. So it's not a sandwich we're making. Could be a picture frame, maybe, for you. I don't know. Let's see what else he has. Ah, I better help him with this. He has a bowl full of, it looks like confetti. It is made of Paper dots with blue and green. There are heart shapes in here. Pink, two different pinks, a pretty purple, and then a beautiful deep red. Buttons, are we making a Valentine? We are, okay. But it's a special Valentine. It's one that you can keep. For a while, quite a while. Look what it is, boys and girls. It's what we call a sun catcher. 
You can see through it. Can you see me? Can you see buttons through it? Or see his nose? All right. So what we can do after we get ours all finished, we can hang it in our window and the sun will shine through the hearts. Now, what does a heart shape mean when we see it? I think of love too when I see a heart. So we can let our love shine through our sun catcher. So let's make our sun catcher. We're going to put it up here. Okay, Buttons, you said you wanted to watch, okay? Are you going to sit over here? Will that work? Okay. You're going to let this... I'm sorry. Yes, you had a scratch. You had an itch there. Okay, you can come over right here, okay? You come right here. Okay, I'm just trying to get you comfortable. All right. Can you see there? Okay, he's good. Now, the first thing we've got to do... We don't have many supplies today. No scissors, no markers or crayons, and no glue, just sticky paper. The first thing you're going to do when you get your packet, okay, if, when you get your packet at the Her Library, when you empty everything out, you're going to take your paper plate rim, lay it on the table with the red side up, okay? So you're going to have the red side up. You're going to lay that flat. Have somebody help you take our sticky piece of paper and you have to peel this back off. Sometimes it can be very troublesome. We're gonna work at it. I find if you bend it backwards and sometimes you can get your fingernail underneath the fold, the bend, and see it peels apart. So we'll put that other piece Away. We don't need that. And then I'm going to take this clear sticky piece and I'm going to lay it over the center of my hole on the plate. And I want to make sure it touches all the edges around that is cut out. So can you see, boys and girls, it went around the edges. What I want you to do after you make sure it is all the way around, push down, maybe with your index finger, and push all the way around the edges because you really want that to be sealed. And I'm having a little difficulty with mine today. There we go. Guess what? Button's got a little, he lost a little bit of his hair. I've got some green fuzz in my sticky paper. So there'll be not only love shining through, there'll be silly buttons hair shining through too. All right, now the next thing we're going to do, boys and girls, flip it over. Now you've got the white side showing and you have the sticky paper, which whatever you put on it is gonna stick just like buttons Green furry hair, sorry buttons, is stuck now on my paper. So you're going to take your paper hearts and your paper dots and you can put them wherever you want to on your circle. Let's see where we are we going to, you can make a pattern if you want to. You could put them in a design. You could even put your hearts maybe in the shape of your first letter of your first name, of your name. If your name is Jonathan, you could make a J. If your name is Sally, you could make an S. It would look like a, a Valentine's snake, wouldn't it? So you put your hearts on however you want to and as full as you want to. But you want to re try to remember you want that sunshine to come through. So I'm just putting mine randomly throughout on my circle. Let's see, I think I need one more. I only have one red one. I wanna put another red one right up there. All right, boys and girls. So see, now I have to hold it up against my sweater. Now I have my hearts on my sticky paper. Now I wanna put 
some of my dots. Now, I tell you what I was doing last night to make my sample. I was taking, I laid all of my papers on the table and then I would wet my finger just like that and I could pick up a dot on my fingertip and then I could lay it right on to the sticky paper because I wanted certain colors on certain places. So if you wanted to do that, you can do that. If your finger is wet, it will pick it up. There, I got two dots, didn't I? Now I have two dots together. I have my little puppy dog with me again today. She wants to see what we're doing. Let's hope she doesn't bark. What do you think? Do you remember last week she was visiting us? Yes. Okay, just a few more. And then I'll show you the next step. I had to wet my finger again. She sees buttons. Buttons might want to go hide. Remember, Buttons is a little afraid of her. All right, do you think I have enough dots on mine? I think I do. This will let a lot of sun shine through. So then we'll have a lot of love shining through. So after you have all of the design, all of the cutout shapes that you want on your sun catcher, then you're going to take the other piece of sticky paper and you're going to peel the back off of that this one went easier because there was a little piece that was stuck out. It was jutted out. And then you're going to lay that over top of your shapes. Again, you want to press very firmly around the edge, around the frame. And then what I did, boys and girls, after I had both pieces sandwiched together, I flipped it over and then I rubbed really, really, really hard with the red side of the plate because you want it really to stick. You can just use the side of your thumb or your fingertips or your fist, anything that you want, rub that over so it's good and tight. And there you have it. There's something missing, isn't there? We forgot about one of the supplies, the ribbon. So take your piece of ribbon and you're going to thread that through the hole. You can make a bow, you can tie it in a knot, however you want to do it to hang this in the window. So I am going to just tie it in a knot So we can hang it in our window that way. You could even maybe curl your ribbon. If there, I just run something hard and now I have curls. That almost looked like a heart there. Look at the ribbon. Okay, so now your sun catcher can go into the window. It can catch the sun's rays and it will shine through the love. Remember, in your packet, there are two catchers to make. One for you and one for you to give away. So you can give one away to your Valentine. All right? I hope you enjoy making this. I enjoyed creating it for you because you are special. And I want you to always remember that. Okay? So you let your love shine through your sun catcher and love shine through you. Buttons wants to come back. She is watching. But let's see. Oh, he fell over, didn't he? He needs some help. I need to help him. Okay, Buttons, what do you think? I know. We made a pretty one, didn't we? Yes. Okay. And Honey is going to start barking again. Oh, goodness. She likes to play. So, boys and girls, you go into the Her Library, you get your packet, and you can make a valentine for you and a friend, okay? Buttons wants you to do that. And she... Okay, Buttons says happy Valentine's Day to you. And remember, boys and girls, 
always be kind. That's right. Always be kind in everything you do. I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Can you help? All right. You got it.